I can't say what's good YouTube to this one. This is the card guys out of Corpus Christi. Yes, they've had that name for a while. Uh, if you've ever seen the card guys on TCG Player, it's this shop to put a face with the name owner Stephen Malone. Had his power cut off, so his cameras didn't catch anything. And this is how his store looks after being robbed. Well, everyone, looks like the uh, thieves were back at it again today. <laughs> and uh, looks like I'm probably going to be closed for good after this one. I'm kind of just sick of dealing with this. I don't know what else there is I can do to prevent it from happening anymore, so, um, yeah, I think it, uh, at this point, I think I am just, uh, done, checked out. If you're watching this, and you did any, had anything to do with this, probably uh, close. You've literally ruined your local community. It's highly likely Steven's not going to continue. Steven's a man I did a lot of business with back when I used to actually buy and sell cards. Uh, I would buy a lot of his bulk. Uh, and I, I truly appreciated him and his community. And they really did a lot together. A lot of people think store owners can take these kinds of hits. That they can do this over and over. And what people don't realize when they see all those cards and they see cash moving is that the cash pool is usually one-fifth of what they have in cards. Constantly, to grow a store successfully, you d you're not raising a cash pool. You're raising a card pool over and over. Cards and product. Cards and product in order to up what you can support in your community and then online when you finally get to online sales, which are kind of the future. Local communities, uh, they're really good, but they, they don't sustain actual growth and safety you have to sell online and he had gotten to that point he was selling a lot on tcg player and now his physical shop is smashed in his cases are smashed in he has to replace those if he wants to continue uh otherwise people can just reach in there his front door literally shot in he has to replace that this is insane to me it's crazy. People do things to cover up who they are or, and why they're there. Either this person truly hated him because they didn't smash in those tops to get to cards. They would have just smashed in the sides behind the counter, which actually would have been better for the store owner. Uh, instead, they smashed in the tops and made them unusable. They shot in his door. It's, it's actually insane. If you know anything about this and you'd like to remain anonymous... Please, please message the uh, Facebook down below, the House of Champions Facebook. You will remain completely anonymous. Uh, I will only relay your information to the store owner. This is in Corpus Christi, Texas. Uh, but similar things have happened like this, and it's honestly why I have somewhat given up my dream of owning a shop. Every single store that gets ahead, I've just heard something terrible like this happen to them. Unemployed ends up taking a ton of stuff and running and leaving state and they it, it's just not able to be worth pursuing even insurance tends to try to dick you so hard on cards a uh having a log of the specific cards is very hard unless they like took your box that was specifically for tcg player having proof of that you're not going to film your cards every single night to have exact proof of what inventory you had unless you're rudy i guess maybe that's why rudy from alpha investments does that uh see even if you have a multi-million dollar company like troll and toad a praise it and turn in an exact list of what you had the insurance is still going to try to just take the value out of it even at the cost of what you bought it for even if you've logged every card buy and every card sale you're probably and have extensive like proof they're still going to try to dick you when it comes to cardboard and he actually said that the insurance in his area would not cover his type of business so not even a chance at 10% back on this. Probably 
the frustration is real. If he, I, I typically don't support GoFundMe's, but if he opens a GoFundMe, I will post it as the pinned comment down below. I know a lot of you guys that watch me are from Texas. Uh, I know a lot of you might know Steven and uh, might even have be a, be part of his community, be part of his shop uh, that come here in in my YouTube. And the real community matters a lot more than anything, than online, than YouTube. Like, this is a place and a more secluded area that people can come and play this game. And that's important. I know, I, I've i seen cars of people from Corpus Christi. Like, I, I find it so interesting. When you're from Corpus Christi, like, at, at regionals. So I know people from this scene. And this sucks so bad for all of them. I, I've heard stories of people being robbed at knife point. I think it might have been ARG that, that somebody was robbed at knife point for tens. For tens. A hundred dollars of tens. But this this just takes the cake. This is about the worst store robbery I've seen. They destroyed literally their shelves, their door. They It doesn't make sense. Uh, the the shelves are unusable. So there's there's so much that has to happen for Steven to even be able to continue that I'm not sure he wants to. And this man has a family, not not to give that typical WWE kind of line. By God, he has a family. He does. He has children. He has a wife. He chose this as his living, as the, his way to support everyone. And it sucks. And he, he mostly did Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh from what I know. It's, it's not likely a magic person doing this, but... It, it's just so terrible to see this kind of thing in our community. I had another friend recently robbed as well. He he wishes to remain more anonymous as he's trying to to keep it low key to figure out who did what to him, uh, and, and he thinks he knows who did what, and he's taking care of it that way. But for Steven, we uh, we don't really know anything. Uh, so again, if you do. Feel free to message. You, you, only your message will be delivered. You will remain completely anonymous on anything. Uh, and I hope there's a shred of anything that helps him here. Over 1.8k views on Facebook. Definitely not enough. He gave me permission to share this with you guys. Uh, and again, they shut off the power to actually rob his place. They So they knew very well, like... The entire procedure, the, the, the shutting off the power, shut off how his cameras were hooked up. Uh, if you know any other past experiences of store owners being robbed that uh, actually turned out in any way, shape, or form positive, please post them down in the comment section below. Or other examples of stores being robbed that didn't, I, I suppose that too. But I'm looking for a light of a ray of hope for another, a fellow Texan here. And this this just really sucks for everybody. Uh, it sucks for his community. It sucks for even moving up for him, his family. There's not really anything I can say that makes it better. There, there's no way to put it. And don't don't sum this up. Don't sum this up as this, this community sucks. This community's cancer. It's it's multiple communities. There's no telling which one it is. Uh, uh, there's there's just a level of people suck not this community sucks don't don't try to put that stigma yes Yu-Gi-Oh is known for having thieves uh Texas typically is a lot better I I've been to events all around the USA uh Texas has very few bags taken compared to other events but it still sucks this happens in our community, period. But it happens in every magic. You hear tens of thousands of dollars of magic cards being robbed. I, I know one Gen Con, the Power 9 was stolen, I think, from Collector's Cash. But I'm not sh sure if that was the vendor. But I know somebody at a Gen Con had a Power 9 taken from their booth. Like, this is every single community that has uh, cards, that has worth... I'm sure eventually it will happen to the Dragon Ball community that's just popping up for Super. <sighs> Do what you can as a store owner to prevent this from happening, but I, I realize a lot of store owners don't have enough to put into it, even if they caught the thieves. <clears throat> if the thieves expended everything already, 
you're not likely seeing your money back in any way, shape, form, or set of time that is relevant to your store's survival. <sighs> they cut the power off. It's insane. So, so he probably has to... Uh, I I'm, I don't know how they did it if they cut the power lines. I should have asked, like, if that's something else he has to take care of to open up shop. But definitely, like I said, if there's a GoFundMe, uh, I will link it down below for him. I'll ask him about it uh, before I post this video. It'll be the pinned comment if he, he even plans to try to continue and do that, rely on the community. I, I really hope everything works out. Steven's a great guy, and this couldn't have happened to a nicer man who was really just trying to grow his own local gaming community. Thanks for watching, guys, and again, you, you have the choice to remain anonymous if you know anything. I, I swear your name will not be popped up into anything.